Okay, so you got an underactive thyroid, the adrenals are, are weak, okay, you have ringing in the ears. You will see how all this in interconnected, okay? Obviously, we all know it's acidosis and mucus. Mucus and stagnant acids affecting tissue, organ, and glands, okay? But in this case, let's see how we can address it. So, underactive thyroid, I would always check your pituitary gland and your hypothalamus because these two glands are what give, give the direction to the thyroid to produce um, TACH. Okay, so we need to make sure that it's not the th not just the thyroid that's weak, but it's possibly the hypothalamus, it's possibly the pituitary gland. We need to address those. So, get an eye reading, and if it was a thyroid issue, I would use a thyroid glandular, and I would use uh, thyroid herbs. If it wasn't a thyroid issue, and it was a pituitary gland issue, I would use a glandular for the pituitary gland and herbs for the pituitary gland. Okay, very simple. The adrenals, you need adrenal tincture and adrenal herbs. Very very simple. Why? Because the adrenals, you know, the, we beat them up a lot. Most of us have weak adrenals. And if you use a glandular, you can spark it up for a month or two, okay? Um, but again, address, uh, target the pituitary gland and see it. It's very likely that the pituitary gland is affecting the thyroid and the adrenals. Remember, because the pituitary gland is the master gland. So there's a great chance that it's the pituitary gland that's weak here. But I would use adrenal glandular and I would use adrenal herbs as well, okay? Check the eyes. Okay, ring in the ears. This is mucus in the head region. You have stagnant mucus in the head region. It's affecting your ears, your eyes, um, you know, the brain. So you want to clean it up. How would you clean it up? You know, uh, first of all, clean the bowels. It's crucial. The bowels have to be clean. The head sits on the GI tract. If it's not um, clean or congested, the acids can drain out effectively, okay? So clean the bowels. Clean the sinuses. How do you do that? You know, chew horseradish root. Use a nutty pot of eucalyptus oil. Do some steam um, inhalation with eucalyptus oil. You can also do ear candling, eye washes, neurolymphatic massages at the back of the head, hot and cold compressors at the back of the head. These will all help you. And uh, you also mentioned that you're undergoing menopause. If that's the case, I will use the female reproductive formula, okay, just to make it easier for you, okay, because this um, has um, is a progesterone, uh, it in increases progesterone levels and, and balances out the hormones, so you should have um, less aggressive symptoms, okay? But herbs I would use would be the adrenal tincture, adrenal glandular, the thyroid lift tincture, Fabulous 5, kidney tea, the thyroid glandular, okay, depending on if it's um, a thyroid issue or a pituitary issue, or a pituitary glandular and or herbs, and the bowel cleanser and the female reproductive formula, okay, very, very simple. And use those and you see things should improve. Of course, the diet has to change. You go on a you know, um, a raw vegan diet at the very least, I would jump on a 20 to 30 day dark grip only diet and see how it goes.